What's going on everybody? My name's Clapcheck and welcome back to episode 6 of the Player Review series. And today we've got... Doko, 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 it can be. Yes, exactly. So let's roll the tape, boys. It's all about humanity. So that's the man we're going to be reviewing today, Carl Toko Kambi. I paid 28k uh, for him, and I think at a moment he goes for like 30, 32. But you know, we're going to be trying him out today, seeing how he plays like, gathering the pros and cons of his card. The team that will pair him up with will include Play of the Month Yuzuki, try that guy out too, see what he's like. I'm Robin, everybody knows he's good. Uh, Graven Birch, uh, Andre, Sanson, they're all interesting players and we'll see how they play out. And also got a little bit of meta for defence because I like to have a solid defence. And we have uh, Mendy, Longley, Varane, Kleber and Courtois. And they'll all play out in a 4-1-2-1-2 with Toko and Robin up top with Yaziki and Cam. He's got a really nice ca uh, uh, card for Cam <laughs> and the rest as on screen. So let's see how I got on. Right, so the first thing that really sold me about Togo can be was him being an absolutely disgusting finisher and an incredible dribbler. And we'll get on to what I mean as these a bit further on. But oh my god, this guy was absolutely dirty. He is, The fact that he only cost me 28k was an absolute steal. I was absolutely terrorizing defenses uh, in Division 1 with this guy. Whenever he was in front of goal and a clear shot on target was there then it was literally going in the back of the net and I really made me think straight away like this guy's a little bit like Lataro Martinez or somebody like um, Aguero maybe even <laughs> back in the day on like FIFA 1917 and I was just thinking if this guy gets another upgrade his finishing will be even better and it's absolutely incredible but even at this stage I thought his finishing was incredible like I reckon if I used him in my team he I'd be able to get elite maybe but uh, he's definitely not a winger like his position suggests he's definitely a striker and uh, that just shows by like what sort of runs he makes how he's more of like a power runner like he powers through defenses instead of like skillfully dribbling through them just powers through his pace is really nice and um, if we look at his more advanced stats his finishing stats really show you why he was so good because with a hunter he's got 96 positioning 99 finishing and 96 shot power the core stats being absolutely incredible 82 long shots not too impressive but this guy is not a long shot taker this guy is a poacher he's a he's a man that penetrates defenses and goalies uh, 97 volleys are really good too. Um, I think I scored one really nice volley of him and that was obviously really useful and 83 penalties. I actually missed two penalties of him which is awful for me. But uh, if we move on we can look at his dribbling. You can see that actually he's got really good like agility and balance. Like for a player that's not been boosted or had any chem style to boost it. He's got 85 agility, 80 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 88 dribbling and 88 composure which are absolutely great. That's why this guy just absolutely smashed his way through defences and put himself in the best positions to score goals. And of course this is obviously reinforced even more with his pace which is literally maxed out with a hunter. 99 acceleration, 99 uh, sprint speed which is top tier and you can actually see it in game with this sword card but i do have to repeat this guy is not a winger like his position shows he is a striker he's a proper striker as well and that's why i was really sold on him and i really enjoyed using him because of these features and actually had a bit of strength about himself as well like uh he skinned klosterman in one of the kit clips like you can see uh and his Strength is actually 87 which is really good but his stamina 82 was a bit average same as 79 jumping so you must be thinking, if this guy's such a good attacker and he's only worth 28k, there must be something wrong with you, with with me, probably, but with the player too. Um, and that would be kind of a nitpicky thing, because it's a bit of a luxury to have on certain players, but on the striker it's a really nice thing to have, and that would be the outside of foot trait. 
combined with maybe a little bit better passing and a little bit better of a first touch but let's just look at the outside of the foot tray uh, it's a thing that really enhances certain strikers like you, your Mbappe's or your uh, end of an era Rooney's who when they have that sort of trait they could really hit nice shots from different angles or like across goals it really helps them to like throw off goalkeepers and um, throw off even players that are defending against you because they could sometimes not expect a shot to be so accurate or so well hit by a player so that was just one little luxury thing that he was missing another thing that's really nice to have on a striker is him to be able to pass the ball properly like Wayne Rooney can pass the ball properly the baller can pass the ball properly so you, you know you get the idea but Toko Gambi's passing was so bad and so disappointing and is the main reason why he can't play anywhere else apart from striker. That's how bad his passing really was. And if we look at his stats, it kind of makes sense because the guy's only got a 75 vision, 72 free kick accuracy, 79 short passing, 67 long passing and 77 curve. And it really does show in game. It's the pure reason why this guy can only play striker. Can I reiterate it more? And the final thing, which kind of is a nitpicky thing again, he, did, he didn't do it too often, but sometimes it was noticeable. His first touch was a little bit weird. I don't know why that is, but uh, yeah, the game was just being a bit weird for me and his first touch wasn't great, as you can see in some of these clips. So at the end of the day, as always, we always will judge a player by their goal contributions to their coin value. And in Toko Kambi's case, he actually wrote himself a case to be a really good player. For 28k that I paid for him, now he's probably worth a little bit more because of hype. He played 10 games for me, scored 16 goals, and he got two assists. That was absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed this card. I really do recommend him if you want to try out a different card from the uh, league earn. Gets nice strong links to uh, Depay and uh, Gomez, but... As a player himself, I will give him an 8.5 out of 10. I really liked him and I really would like to try him again, maybe once he gets another upgrade. Potential another for a part two of Toko Okambi. But if we look at honourable mentions in this team, player of the month Yuziki was one that I really enjoyed. He was quite good. He was a very good player in camp. I didn't really fancy him up top, but he's got really nice uh, traits, really nice stats. Iron Robin was obviously as good as always, really nice. Sanson was a nice little surprise. Uh, he's moved to Aston Villa. He's not going to upgrade, but he was quite a nice player to have. He's very cheap as well. So if you'd been a, a, a league on side, Andre was really bad. I hated him. Uh, Graven Birch, obviously good as always. Defense is meta as hell. So it was really enjoyable and really easy to use, especially uh, Varane, Longley, and... Uh, well, I, I can name all of them. They're all really good. But yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you liked the video. And uh, go check out the Instagram link in the description. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.